Whatever wonders you may have come across in aquariums is nothing compared to the amazing creatures living within our oceans. Large in size, the Greenland shark has one of the most distinctive features of any shark. The teeth in the lower jaw are specially evolved for tearing off huge chunks of meat whenever it attacks prey, while the teeth in the upper jaw hold large prey while it is eating. An amazing fact about the Greenland shark is that it is the longest living vertebrate known to mankind. Just before we proceed, permit us to give you this cautionary fact. The meat of a Greenland shark is highly poisonous, but the Icelandic people have found a way around that. We'll share that with you later in this video. Capable of living for several centuries, you would be surprised to find out how old they get before attaining sexual maturity. Coming across one is very rare, just as footages of these submarine-shaped sharks are equally rare. While the most matured Greenland sharks have poor vision due to an eye parasite, they nonetheless navigate their frigid habitats easily and gracefully. Stick around to the end of this video and you'll learn a lot about these ancient living reclusive sharks. Possessive of a teardrop shape, the Greenland shark is a massive shark that resembles a submarine gliding through the frigid depths of the ocean. It has a rounded snout, showing a color that is often dark gray, brown, or black. Comparable to the great white shark in size and weight, a Greenland shark is about as big as the great white. Both can reach up to 23 feet, or 7 meters in length and about two tons in weight. By the way, the great white shark and the Greenland shark are together the two largest predatory fish species currently in existence. The whale shark and the basking shark can become larger, however, both of them are filter feeders and therefore cannot be counted as predators. Greenland sharks have a peculiar habit. They prefer to live in highly frigid waters. In fact, the colder the water, the merrier the Greenland shark. They prefer migrating to the ocean's coldest regions at any given time in waters with freezing temperatures. Despite their freezing environment, Greenland sharks can regulate their temperature and not freeze to death due to a chemical substance within the skin that acts as an antifreeze. This same chemical compound makes the meat poisonous for consumption unless it passes through a special preparatory method we'll discuss later in this video. The only place greenies can obtain temperatures as cold as it wants are the Arctic Ocean, North Atlantic Ocean, and the Russian High Arctic. A fun fact, Greenland sharks are the only sharks known to be able to live in the freezing Arctic water all year round. It can be found specifically in areas like Baffin Bay eastward to places like the Barents Sea, while progressing southward to the North Sea and the waters adjacent to the United States eastern seaboard. In these places, greenies are comfortable living at depths of up to 2 kilometers, or about 7,200 feet, although they would, on rare occasions, come to the surface of the ocean. The Greenland shark is the longest living vertebrate in the whole world. Its lifespan is more than twice the age of the longest living terrestrial animal, the giant tortoise. It achieves this feat through its slow and steady lifestyle. The Greenland shark is never in a hurry as it moves at an average speed of less than 2 miles per hour, about 3 kilometers per hour. It is not only in movement that it is slow, Greenies are also slow in growth and age. Some Greenland sharks live well over 400, if not 500 years. Through cutting-edge radiocarbon dating of the layers in the tissues of its eyes, it has been established that greenies usually live between 200 and 500 years old. From the observation of a living Greenland shark, which was caught and tagged in 1936, it was discovered that it grew only 6 centimeters longer when it was recaptured 16 years later. They live so long because their growth rate is extremely slow. 
Interestingly, they live to be 150 years old before attaining sexual maturity. With the possibility of living more than half a millennium, what do Greenland sharks eat during all that time while growing? Like other sharks, the Greenland shark is a predator, an apex predator at that. As such, it would often feed on a variety of marine creatures. It is known to eat fish such as caplin, lumpfish, halibut, herring, salmon, and other fishes. They also eat sea lions, cetaceans, the carcass of the beluga whale, squids, and whatever else with flesh they can bite into. Its favorite prey, however, seems to be seals. According to National Geographic, while citing research, Greenland sharks have been associated with almost 5,000 dismembered seal corpses found in Nova Scotia between 1993 and 2001. However, not too long ago, it was thought that the Greenland shark fed mostly on small animals like some fish species and carcasses because of its lack of speed. It wasn't considered a predator in that sense. Nowadays, however, it's also assumed that it catches much faster prey like seals by attacking them while they are sleeping. Like vultures, these carrion eaters have been known to have eaten polar bears, reindeer, and even horses. Given their environment and slow nature, Greenland sharks would bite into whatever flesh they could get, alive or rotten. They have two differently shaped sets of teeth, with the upper jaw containing between 48 and 52 narrow pointed teeth suited explicitly for holding on to large prey. In contrast, the lower jaw showcases 50 to 52 square-shaped broader teeth. It would often roll its head in a round motion while cutting huge circular chunks of flesh off its victim, which may be dead already. Smaller prey, however, is swallowed whole. It drifts across the ocean floor in search of food, relying on every other sensory organ except that of sight because Greenland sharks generally have poor vision. The poor vision of greenies is caused by an eye parasite which attaches itself to the eyes of this shark, damaging the cornea and leaving behind an infection. The eyes wouldn't have been much use anyway, given that the incredible depths at which greenies live are dark and eerie, as no sunlight penetrates to such depths. Given the rarity and difficulty in studying these sharks due to their deep, dark, cold habitat, there is yet to be any tangible evidence that can affirm its natural predator, if any. Suspected natural predators, however, might be the sperm whale and the orca, However, there is another known predator that loves the Greenland shark, and that is none other than humans. In Iceland, for example, the Greenland shark is considered a delicacy, but before it could become a tasty treat, it must, first of all, become rotten. To get rid of the toxins in this shark's flesh, Icelanders leave the meat to ferment and then hang to dry for at least five months. Greenland sharks are listed by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, IUCN, as near-threatened to extinction. There is no proven record or validated report of a Greenland shark ever attacking or causing the death of humans, but theoretically speaking, they could easily cause the death of a human given their size and teeth. Greenland sharks are incredibly unique among all species of sharks known to mankind. Apart from its unique frigid habitat and exceptionally long lifespan, the toxic meat of this shark could leave a person shark drunk if not properly processed. More research needs to be done, however, to understand how they get to live so long. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe.